Hi, and welcome to another week of... Another week or another month? Month. Month of the Comics Etc. Book Club. And this week we are reviewing books... I am reviewing the Penguin, Prodigal Bird, and James is reviewing one that I mistakenly gave as the... Metavarid. Me Unfortunately, I gave Second Cycle, so I thought it was the first original one, but I feel like he could have read it and it still would be alright. And he's just ruined a whole bunch of my pre-planned jokes. Thank you. He can go to hell. So, um, <laughs> I'll let you go first, well, because I'm interested to see what you thought about this. Just a little bit of housekeeping first. For all of you who follow us on social media or any of like that... Yeah, we're sorry. We are so sick of seeing our faces as well. Yeah, I'm it comes up so on my sorry. feed. All I do is see my face, and it's a beautiful face. It's not, and you love yourself. And but... uh, I just want to apologise, but... Uh, it's just weird. We're everywhere. We're, you know, we're the new Taylor Swift's. Where the tail swept to Brisbane. <laughs> Alright, well, you, I started last month, so you can start this month. Oh, but you said you were gonna... Uh... Alright. So, Penguin. I've not read anything before. Oh, I thought you were gonna say you didn't read the book. No, 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 no. I read it, and yep. what's funny is, I just realised that this is almost identical to the Joker by Azzarello. Yeah, it because is actually, yeah. what they do, except it's kind of like a reverse. So this book focuses on the penguin is retired, and he is old, feeble, and just looks like he's chilling out. Shut up, like James. And yeah, he comes back into wanting to take over Gotham again. Yeah, and then it follows his journey through trying to assemble a team again everyone has forgotten about him or tells him to move on and it makes him angrier and angrier and then yeah he puts together a team and I'm gonna be honest I wasn't I wasn't that into it interesting so the story was okay I just felt like it, it's been done before yep and then when you in the which you might have already watched the episode we did about the Joker and Harley. Yep. Yeah, when I when you picked up that Joker book, I went, oh my god, this is the same story. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay, so the reason I chose the book for you is because the Penguin TV show starts, I think, like October 3rd or something like that. I wanted to read it, so mm -hmm. I thought, if you read it, I'll read it with you. I had issues with it too. Oh, I'm not used to being a little bit critical here. Apologies to the creators involved, because I know Tom King is watching and, Tom the, King, yep. and the artist. Oh, look, the art was good. <laughs> Yeah, there was. But I actually go on, had problems with it. What was going on? I didn't know in the first issue that it was Penguin. I thought the art painted him a little bit non penguinish because I don't know if it did that on purpose because it wanted us to know that he's retired. Uh, it's a bit, yeah, he kind of looks rough. Yeah, and, and I was like, hang on, is that Penguin or a different guy? Because the first issue starts off with him actually not being the psychotic, hey, I'm the Penguin, chair. Right? It's just a retired old man. And I thought, uh, it took me a while to pinpoint that it was actually Oswald that we were talking about. And then my other problem with the art was in the second issue, I believe, he's talking to a bald, tall, important man who I thought was Lex Luthor. Who is it? It was his henchman, remember? How he's trying to recruit oh, yeah, his yeah, henchman yeah, yeah. back, yep. who's a bald, tall guy. And, it took and me they a long do time. talk about Lex Luthor as well, so that yeah. could have maybe confused. So yeah. I was a bit confused in the first and second issue. Um, but then we get introduced to his ex wife. I really enjoyed it. The ex wife ex -wife. issues. Okay. <laughs> no, the ex wife issues. <laughs> it was a weird read. So basically, I'm just going to rewind a little bit. I think that when we're talking about how he's retired, something happened in the latest Chips that Ask Batman run where he was either killed off or retired or something like that. And this kind of shows like him coming back. So I think the reason why I didn't maybe get a lot of it as well is because I think it relies on you knowing about the Gotham War and yeah. all the other stuff that was in Batman yep. at the same time. Yep. And what's interesting is Chip Zdarsky does the issue zero that's at the end, that's the bonus. Yep. So what was that team that he reassembles? Yeah, it's just a team, like it doesn't have a name. Like he's, They he's, did, he's they were, they were all, yeah, they were all random. Like I've never heard of these characters before. I don't know if they knew or not either. Yeah, and it would, that was also like, maybe if I knew more about it, it makes yep. sense. But yeah, they were like a washed up team. Yeah, that, washed up villains. Yeah, he who... convinces 
through bullying and like this is violent. It's which, very Which again reminds me of Joker. So yeah, yeah that, that's why I think it was too... The violence for me came out of the blue, which made it more effective. It wasn't a case of like, here's well, Joker no, being he, like... And it was kind of like he, exactly. he led to getting back to being violent. Yeah. Because he was getting so angry that everyone was yeah. rejecting him and they weren't taking him serious. Yeah, so as a crime comic, it was, it was alright. I would obviously recommend it for people because there is hardly any Penguin Yeah, that's material. actually, that, that does change it a little bit. You're right, because people are going to come in looking for Penguin books. And there's one Penguin showcase that they do, like Batman Arkham. They, do, they, they reprint a whole bunch of the short stories in the Batman Arkham series. Um, and there is a Penguin one-shot in that. But outside of that, like... No, there's, there's yeah, there's literally like two. He, like again, it's he'll appear and stuff, but he doesn't have much of his own. He's a support character of yeah. villains. I feel like Batman will often go into his club and like the have iceberg like, lounge yeah, and have like full iceberg lettuce. Your favorite lettuce? What's your favorite lettuce? No, I love the exotic lettuce oh, that really? I have with onion and, and a beautiful dressing. Yeah, so. like an iceberg lettuce. Um, <laughs> yeah, so he's he's always there. But it's always like Batman will knock on his door and say, hey, I know you're doing crime. He's like, yeah, go away. Yeah, yeah. Um, so oh, and that's what else is funny in this, is that he's helping Batman. So they made a deal that he would tell Batman all the crime that's going on through the ice, the lounge, knowing, hearing what's going on. Yeah. But then he kind of starts using that to his advantage. Yeah. And yeah, him and Batman end up pretty much hating each other. Yeah, which they should. Yeah. So Which, look, it's all right. Yeah, I'm not rating it because James has ruined any rating system. But yeah, I would say yes to someone that wants to read about the Penguin. Maybe not to someone that doesn't know anything about the Batman All right, universe. listen up, Nitwit. You just said yes, nah. You gave it a year, nah. No, I didn't. You did. You no. said yes, I would, but nah. You gave it a year, nah. No. And I will give it a... Yeah, nah, as well. Hate you, like, hate you, hate you. Yeah, hate it's you. got some good stuff in it, but nah. Why's your knee from jumping like that? Because you. <laughs> so we have a like swearing episode where I just swear <laughs> for an hour. So uh, yeah, that we're on the same page. Like that was that's. Look, it's best again. Friends at it again. Good story, well written. Just nothing that jumped yeah, few, out and was wasn't new. It. Wasn't like yep. whoa, this is mind bending. Yep. So yeah. So now it's on to my turn. Yeah. Remy got me to read Meta Barons. So if you want to know what Meta Barons about, it's about Mark Zuckerberg, who is the Shut Baron up. of the Stop. So uh, no, it's not. But first of all, I want to say, I know you're a little bit nervous about this one. I'm not nervous. I just apologize that I didn't realize it was the second cycle. And are you going to apologize for ruining all my jokes? No, because they were going to be a waste of time and no one watches good. it for that. So go on. Um, okay, so uh, first of all, I want to thank you for recommending it to Why? Me because the artwork in this thing is by far the best artwork I've seen in a comic ever. Which, and I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not joking. It is the best artwork you'll ever see in a comic of all time. But so what I really wish now is that I showed you the first actual first series because that has really good art Sorry, as well. is this my review or your review? I recommended it and I've read the actual first Someone's one. Someone's trying so, to cover. Um, shut up. And Go. the other reason I'm really going to thank you for it is that it felt, especially at a time where Aliens is out and June is out, um, it th it's the sci-fi epicness of it was absolutely brilliant and I am definitely hooked on some other series. So basically, okay, what's this one about? So we start off just after a war has finished and then a whole bunch of stuff happens that I have absolutely no idea about because this is the last chapter in the entire Jodorowsky universe. Incal well, it's not metaverse. Because... Oh, it is. I Googled it. I know, but... Okay, so now that you have monumentally screwed up Book Club, can you at least explain what the hell was going on? Well, previous to this, I, I'll do it really quickly like, what's because a meta you could. So he is like a super weapon that, in the Incal, he was. So you have to. What's this an Incal? Is, oh, I can't answer that. You need to read the book, and I'll let you read it eventually if you shut up. But yeah, it's that whole Incal started a whole universe. The Meta Baron is from this universe, and then they follow. So they've fleshed it out, and yeah, it's. So you what need, is he? 
The Meta Baron is like a super weapon. He's okay, like, like a weapon. he yeah, he's like literally like a contract. Yeah. Yeah. He's like the most powerful guy that can he's just he's really just destroys. Really? Yeah, he's actually quite bad and yeah. Would he make a silly mistake like giving his best friend the wrong book? He wouldn't have best friends. So, yeah, that that sounds okay, good. Okay, so he's like a super weapon. There's yeah. an intergalactic war. It's it's like it's a massive saga, not like the book, okay. but yeah, it's it's huge and you really need to start not from there. <laughs> not from the very very last yeah. chapter. Look, I followed it to a degree. It did a really good job initially of it not mattering that it is not the first volume. Yep, we've and made I that literally... clear for far out. <laughs> <laughs> and I literally did feel like it wasn't, he didn't choose the incorrect book for me because it did do an all right job initially of recapping or making it seem like a big war just happened and then the hero was doing this to kind of overcome whatever happened in the past. So it did do a good job, but then it starts steamrolling into like techno techno and incal incal and in saying that this is a really difficult book for me to review because I, I'm not even kidding, I am excited, I'm actually excited to go back and read the stuff that came before it because the writing in this, for as, for as far as I could tell, uh, and the artwork were next level it's just different like next level like i've yeah. never seen anything like this in comics before yeah. so i would compare this the, like obviously you didn't read the first bit because i was stupid but the saga is very similar not in, saga yeah yeah the saga no no saga is actually quite the, it's oh, it's right. very similar as in it's a space opera yeah and this feels like a more detailed Yep. Space opera, okay. like so. If I was to recommend this to people, it'd be people that love not that one, but that people <laughs> people that love saga. So if you want to read really well written and yep. drawn sci-fi, try any of the humanoids books because they, yeah, they're really good at doing that genre and they do it well. So I will, I will go back. Yeah, and, and I'll give him the proper book one day. Can but you make sure of it. Yeah, it. I really feel like more people would enjoy this if they're sick of the American standard comic. Yeah, you know, that's a good point. Like, the, the whole feel of it, like, it definitely is not... See, it's tough because comics are comics. Like, you can... No matter where they come from, it's the same basic format. But for some reason, you can actually feel like this is a European comic. Like, it is different. And, and not saying it's good. I like the fact that there is this different aspect. That there is the usual yeah. superhero stuff. And then you can try this so yeah. it's not just the same everywhere yeah but like i said I, like i went into it i <laughs> threw you in the deep end you should have heard my uh when i had to google what was actually it because something didn't gel with me it's like this doesn't make sense that i don't i can't tell what's going on so you i look forward to seeing what you think of the actual early stuff yep. and so i don't know how to review it like do i give it a yeah nah nah yeah yeah well yeah. i think by the way you reacted it's a yeah it's just that you shouldn't take someone's <sighs> but I'm, review I'm, I'm reviewing it's the way this. that someone reviews something you shouldn't take that from them steal it and then use it as your own all right well on that screw up let's uh recommend each other's next month book. all right well so, do you want to give me mine well fun Please, fact did you think yours it's is literally behind you on the shelf so turn around uh -huh. I would like you to read Charles Burns Final Cut. Ooh. Because this is a book that's come slightly early and Don't some of tell you anyone. No, but some of you as myself have ordered this on direct and yeah, I feel like I'm sure Good. you've read Charles Burns, but it's been a long time since he's released something and um, yeah, I just want to yeah. see what you think. I don't know if we should say this on camera, but uh the box didn't have a street date on it, but this is very early that we have this, so uh, ring-a-ding-ding, I'm, I'm very thankful at this. Now, just so you do know, this is the last Charles Burns book. They're all standalone. Yeah, yeah, this, you don't need... Like, so yes, he's done it again, but also they're standalone. No, they're standalone. It doesn't matter. So who is Charles Burns? So they're horror? They're yeah, black and, and white. It's, the art is very... Yeah, it's not black and white, it's colour. Yeah, usually mm. it's black and white, but yeah. I've noticed... Yeah, they're very... A lot of it's very adult, and either you'll love the artwork or you won't. I love it. Hey, 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 shut up for a sec. This is perfect. It's a horror. What's next month? Halloween. Halloween. Perfect Halloween special. So I did pick well, so You did pick well. Uh, you picked very well. Okay, this is... Right. I really hate this. Go. Why is there two wrapped? 
Why is there two rats? Just, just over there. No, over this side. is a joke. You're gonna do something stupid. He's gonna give me like a volume eight of something or like, ready? Yeah, see? Ooh. Oh. Yeah, spawn volume 11. I thought we just start randomly in a story. No, stuff that's you. What we do. No, I that's what we no. do. Uh, you made your point. <laughs> All right, okay, here's the real one. Here's the real one. Can I just say, I apologize for my messy hair because I didn't get a haircut, unlike James. Yeah, so I get my haircut from a local, not a paid for advert, but no. from Dead City Barbers. Yeah, we support local business, so get on it. Yeah. All right. So should you. Another Spider-Man. Yeah, boy. I got life story, but no, I actually wanted to read this, so this makes sense. Yeah, so once again, uh, I chose this one for you because I also want to read it, and I know you haven't read it, and it is Hickman, and I know you don't like Spider-Man, so... And these have been selling like hotcakes, so it is something that I should read because I should know what everyone is so excited about. Yeah, I look, I, I on purpose didn't want to read it until the trade paperback came out because it was selling itself, in the single issues, so I didn't need to write, kind of read it. Well, you wouldn't even get a chance because yeah. they kept going off the shelf. And with you reading it, and now with me reading it, I'm actually, it's one of the rare projects that I'm going to read it as a fan. So I'm really looking forward to that. And there better be a map. Oh, how would they do a map for Spider-Man? Yeah, Hickman will do it. Fantastic choices this month. Now yeah. we need a code word. So the code, the code for these ones are going to continue for 48 hours after the video goes up. If you want to know what the code is, you've got to go watch the previous video. Um, it's a trap. It's a trap. Um, you can buy them on comicsetc.com.au. We're going to have the link in the descriptions down below the video. And we've got to come up with a code word for these ones. I was thinking the code word should be monumental screw up. I think the code should be, f no, I can't <laughs> say <that. laughs> What do you reckon the code should be? No, that's fine. I'll take that one. I don't know how to spell monumental screw up. Can you imagine that one? Let's Let's do... just call it screw up. Screw up. One word, screw up, because he screwed up. So that's pretty much it. Chuck it in. You'll get 20% off these, so you can join us next month for... Uh, Book club. Book club. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward yeah. to it. Yeah, read on. Cool. All right, we'll see you next month.